Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to take some of these two-year-old Zelkovas out of this flat and take a look at how the roots look and give them a little bit of a trim and move them either into individual containers or back into a flat like this for another year worth of growth. All right, well, now that I've got these out and roughly cut apart, I'm gonna go ahead and explore the, the junction of the roots uh, with the trunk and see how they look. So these are two-year-olds and they've already been trimmed multiple times, but the roots have only been trimmed last winter. And so I wanna take a look at the roots first before I go ahead and look at the rest of the tree, the twigs and such. So we've been seeing this sort of problematic root structure uh, as I've been pulling things apart this winter. And what's going on here is that there's a root from the base that was trimmed last year that's been pushed up by the way we put the soil in. And so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off any of these roots that are going up uh, to facilitate more room for the roots that are going sideways and then I'll investigate further once I've got those off. Now you might be thinking to yourself, oh my God, how can you cut off all of the roots from the tree? But we did this last year and I was a little bit trepidatious uh, when I did it, but you know, it is an elm or well, it's a member of the elm family and they react really well to pruning they react really well to almost all bonsai work, which is probably why they're a species that's so fun to work with. So let me take a look at this root right here. You can kind of see that the, the this root's actually coming out nice, nicely initially, and then it just sort of makes like a hard turn and heads around the side of the trunk. So I'm not gonna cut off the root entirely, but I am gonna cut off the part that's going sideways. And then I'm gonna take a look through the rest of these, and see if they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. I want all the roots coming out pretty much in exactly the same plane. So I'm gonna cut this one off. Now I'm gonna look underneath to see if there's any roots that are going straight down. Hopefully there aren't because these have already been cut off once. So flat, pretty much radial set of roots after two root trims. I'm going to go ahead and cut back some of the larger ones a little bit further to encourage more branching right here at the, underneath the base of the tree. So that's actually a reasonably good result for a two-year-old in my mind. I'm gonna go ahead and set this one aside and do the rest of them.
Well, that's it for the seven Zelkova, and uh, I had a lot of fun doing that, but just by way of explanation, let me uh, show you a couple of things that I did that might not be completely obvious. One is these little tails of wire right here. When I cut off a lot of roots and I don't want to tie the tree into a, in a, into a growing pot like this, sometimes I'll use different techniques for uh, anchoring it. And so I just left, wrapped these around the trunk a couple of times and then used them to kind of make a cone shape out of the roots where, it, where they junction with the trunk and then made a long tail and stuck that down into the soil to stabilize these guys until they have a chance to grow new roots. And leaving this here is a reminder to myself to make sure that I don't forget and allow that wire to bite into the trunk, which is absolutely not going to be acceptable uh, on a Zelkova. Other than that, uh, I went through and wired a few branches basically to straighten out things that were otherwise crossing or resolve issues where the branch didn't make sense to cut the branch off, but uh, it couldn't stay exactly where it was. And the idea is basically just that you want to make kind of a three-dimensional broom shape out of these guys. I've done this only on a couple of trees to maturity, and um, it's it's been fun to get back into it and do it on a much larger batch like what I'm working with right now. If you have experience growing Zelkova from scratch, add your comments below and uh, that'll help everyone out. So see you next time.